and that's how you want to share. Okay, all right, and also hit the screen for hearts. Go ahead and show some hearts throughout the broadcast. If you like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit the hearts and show some love, okay? All right, well, welcome, everybody. Welcome, 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 everybody at Periscope and Meerkat. Welcome to the replay. We love our replay viewers. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in, you guys. Okay. Share, share, share. Hit the para dude in the corner if you're watching this live. Hit the para dude in the corner. And share with everybody. Share it with everybody. Good morning, G. Maliza. G. Maliza, put your name in there where you're from. I'd like to know where you're from. We're talking about the money game. And you need to answer this question. You need to answer this question. Go ahead and share, everybody. Go ahead and share. We're talking about money. We're talking about black enterprise. We're talking about black dollars. We're talking about, hey, Latisse. Go ahead and share, you guys. Go ahead and share it. We're closing in on 2015. Everybody should be getting excited about 2016. All right? So come on in. Talking about black dollars, black enterprise. We're talking about, you know, black money. Talking about economic development of ourselves, our family, and our community. Hey, welcome everybody at Meerkat. Go ahead and restream it. Restream it at Meerkat. We're going to get started in the next 30 seconds. The next 30 seconds, all right? So go ahead and share it and restream it over there at Meerkat. Good morning, everybody. All right, Green Tea, good morning, good morning. Go ahead and share it for us, Green Tea. Go ahead and hit the pair, dude. All right, thank you very much. Show some love, everybody. If you're present, show some love. All right, the price to admission is for you to share and show some love. Oh, it's reverse in Meerkat, sorry about that. But DarylMohammed.net, go there. If you like what you hear, if you want to connect with me and I want to connect with you, if you're of like minds and we're going in the same direction, go here and subscribe and get on my mailing list because in 2016 we're going to do a lot of private private live uh events you know a lot of live broadcasts and webcasts and things of that nature where we can connect more one-on-one -on -one and more personal all right so if you're about black empowerment black financial uh empowerment then you want to definitely connect with me here darylmohammed.net okay now hey what's up gary indiana Appreciate you, man. All right, now to hit me anywhere on social media is my name, Daryl Muhammad. All right, just like you see it spelt here. Periscope Twitter. Facebook is Daryl Muhammad fan page. YouTube is Daryl Muhammad. So it's pretty simple. Once you got, got my name right, once you spell it right, two R's, two L's, M-U-H-A-M-M-A-D, then you'll be on your way to find out everything that I have out there on social media, okay? All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I, will, I want to request something from you. I need your help. All right. I'm here to give and I'm here because I know I need your help. I need for everybody right now on Periscope and Meerkat to go ahead and share it. Go ahead and share it, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and share it right now. Uh, hit the pair of dude in the corner and go ahead and share it with your friends at Twitter and Facebook. All right. Twitter and Facebook. Over there, Meerkat, do the same thing. Restream it. All right, because we're talking about money. We're talking about the money game, and you have to answer this question. Thank you, Living Sheik. I appreciate you for being here and restreaming. She's here almost every day, and I can appreciate that. You know, a teacher appreciates the students that constantly come to class. Okay, so we're talking about the money game, brothers and sisters. We're talking about learning what we need to know to uh, empower ourselves, our family. In our community, an entrepreneur is one who recognizes a problem and solves it. That's what an entrepreneur is. If you want to make money as an entrepreneur in sales or in a free enterprise, recognize a problem and solve it. And we have a very serious, serious financial empowerment problem 
in the black community. And whoever has enough guts and enough strength and enough know-how to address that problem, it will be not just financially rewarding for themselves, but it will be emotionally and spiritually and psychologically rewarding for themselves. All right. So that's what we're doing here. We want to give back to the community from which I come from. All right. So we're talking about the money game. We're talking about the money game and answering this question. You have to answer this question today. All right. So you need to write this question down. You need to answer it today. But before we do that, we're in our last three days of 2015. Last three days of 2015, brothers and sisters, you should spend this time doing a lot of things in preparation to 2016. But one of the critical things that I'm doing, and I would say that you should do, you should spend this time really thinking, right? Assessing, you know, not just what happened in 2015, but just assess, assessing your thinking, how you look at things, how you look at your family, how you look at your job, how you look at money, you know, how you look at earning extra money. But you also need to spend this time reprogramming your mind to win the money game. Reprogramming your mind to win the, uh, the money game. Now, what we're going to do over the next couple of days, definitely by the weekend, I'll have most of them, if not all of the previous uh, broadcasts, the money game broadcast entitled The Money Game. I'll have most of those up so you can go back there and can, you can use those broadcasts as a sounding board, right? You can use those broadcasts as a way to see and make the adjustments and make the paradigm shift that is definitely necessary. The paradigm shift is definitely necessary in order to learn the rules to the money game to win and not to lose. Okay, let's go ahead and share it right now, brothers and sisters. Let's go ahead and share it. Let's get our count up because we're about to get into the content of this information and in about 10 minutes to the bottom of the hour, we're going to go ahead and open up for questions. So those that have questions, hold on to your questions. All right, hold on to your questions. So. We want to program our minds, all right? We want to question every thought that we have around money, all right? We want to question every thought that we have around money. That's what we want to do, brother. Says we have to question it because no matter where you are, it's not good or bad. It just is. And if your reality is that you want to get to the next level, then you have to think, Right? You have to think a certain way to get to that next level. Not different, right? A different way. The way that's going to get you to the next level. Every way doesn't get you to the next level. You have to ask yourself, is that, is that thought I just had when that bill came through the mail empowering? Is that thought I just had when my child asked me for some money? Does that empower me? I'm broke. I don't have no money. Stop asking me for money. Right? What about this one? Money don't grow on trees. Well, well quite a, it does because money, dollar bills is paper and paper comes from trees. But is it empowering? Right? Is it empowering? Is that thought I just had about money empowering? Dog, there's my car knocking again. Man, I, I'm going to have to spend some money. Is it empowering? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. So for the rest of 2015, brothers and sisters, on these live broadcasts, which will be Wednesday, not Thursday, and we'll be back January 1st here at 11 o'clock to continue our conversation around money, around financial empowerment, about fi uh, fi uh, empowering ourselves financially, our family, and our community. Our community is suffering because there's not enough of us that care enough to help out our community financially. And how do you do that? Yeah, you can spend money. That, that, that helps. That keeps the desert from drying out. But it's not enough water to grow vegetation. We're talking about enough help to grow ve vegetation. To grow vegetation. All right? That's what we're talking about. Hey, thanks for restreaming. Coriz, Cor, chor, chorizo, chorizo. All right. So that's what we're talking about. That's that's abundance. 
right? Abundance is enough to germinate and cause vegetation. So for the next, what's that? Tomorrow, Wednesday, not Thursday, Friday, we're going to deal with mindset. We're going to deal with mindset. All right, because by default, everybody's thinking skill set. What do I have to do? What do I have to do? What do I have to do? What you, what you and I have to do is make sure we program our mind. Okay, so the money game, you have to answer this question. You must answer this question today. Now, here's what I want you to do. Write this down. The question is, are you serious about playing the money game? Or are you just playing? All right, let me say it again. Somebody put that in the live feed. The question that you must answer today, that I must answer today, we all must answer today is, am I playing the money game to win? Or am I just playing? Now, some of you guys, especially the, especially the brothers, know, you know, growing up and playing with other children in the neighborhood. We as little boys, we used to play fighting and wrestling. And sometimes, you know, someone might get hurt, right? Or you hit them too hard. And the other brother, the other person, the other boy gets serious, right? Oh, that's how you want to be? Oh, okay, okay. Now, if you don't want to become serious and seriously fight, or at the level that he wants to fight at since you kind of got one up on him, right? Then you say, no, no, man, I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I don't want to fight. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Right? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Now, I don't know about ladies if they have an equivalent example. But anytime somebody wants to get serious, it might be playing spades or something, right? Person talking noise and sound like, you know, they're getting serious. They're talking real strong talk. Not playing. Their demeanor is serious. Oh, man, we just, you know, we just having some fun. We just playing. But that's the question you need to ask yourself. I need to ask myself. We all need to ask ourselves. Are we playing the money game to win? Or are we like that child? Or when we were a child. I'm just, when it gets serious. I'm just playing. When it's time to spend money. I'm just playing. Right? When it's time to devote your energy over a consistent period of time. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm not serious. I'm just playing. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? So, so that's what we mean. That's what we mean. Are we just playing? And if that's the case, it's okay. It's okay. Why is it okay? Because we need to know if we're playing or not. We need to know if we're playing to win the money game or just playing. Right? There's an old Egyptian proverb that goes like this. To thy own self be true. I know you probably heard it came from somewhere else, but I'm telling you, it's an Egyptian proverb, to thy own self be true. Okay? So that's what we have to do. Do not deceive yourself and just tell yourself, oh, I'm, I'm serious. I'm seriously playing the money game. I'm playing the money game to win. How do you know if you're playing the money game to win? Right? How do you know? The, the, word, the, the saying goes, actions speak louder than words. What are our actions saying? What are our actions saying? Do our actions say, Daryl, that you're playing the money game to win? Are you playing or are you just playing? When it's time to get serious, you, you ghost. Right? It's time to get serious, you disappear. It's time to get serious, you can't, you can't put up. Right? It's time to get serious, we have excuses, right? No excuses. Time to get serious. Uh, well, uh, well, uh, let me get back with you. And we never get back with the person. Are we serious in playing the money game to win? Or when it gets serious, we say, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I don't want to go in. I don't want to go hard. I don't want to commit. I was just playing. Is that what we're doing, brothers and sisters? All right. And if that's what we're doing, that's OK to thy own self. Be true. This is what we have to answer ourselves. You don't have to answer to your wife or your husband or your or your children. This is introspection. Answer it to yourself. Yeah, man, I, I'm really playing. I, I'm not really committed. 
I like watching those scopes. I like watching uh, Daryl. I like watching other people. I like watching Anthony Robbins. I like watching Les Brown. I like watching going to the seminars. I love doing that. But at the seminars, when it's time to put up, I'm just playing. Daryl tells me to go to DarylMuhammad.net, subscribe. Right? I'm just playing. I, I, I'm good right here. Just watch it. I just want to watch. I want you to check it out. So with that, what we're doing, brothers, to our own self, be true. Well, how do I know if I'm playing serious? Here's how you know. Ask yourself these questions. Ask yourself these questions. Am I controlling my environment? Number one. Somebody put that in the live feed. Am I controlling my environment? Now, we have to understand that. We have to understand what that means. Okay? When you go to work, you didn't create the environment. You can't control that environment. You can't control how the office looks. Right? You can't control where your, where your desk is and who's sitting next to you. Right? If it's raining outside and you go outside, you can't control that. You can't make it stop raining. Okay? And if it's sunshine, you know... Then you can't make it cloudy, make it rain. So we're not talking about controlling the environment like that. We're talking about people and places. We're talking about your personal environment. Who do you allow in your personal environment? That's what you and I have to control. Who do we allow in our space? Who do we allow in our ear, on the telephone or in person? Who are our friends? Who do we associate with? You have to work what you have to work with, but beyond that, who do you associate with? We have to learn how to control our environment. And if we're not controlling our environment, then that's a sign that we we, we just playing. We're not taking it serious enough. But Daryl, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know, limit my access to certain people. I don't wanna hurt their feelings. Then we're not taking it serious enough. To win the to play the money game to win. We just playing, right? When it's time to get serious enough, I'm just playing. Our actions, not our words. Okay? So that's what we have to understand. Number one is control our environment, our personal environment. Number two, are you investing in yourself? Am I investing in myself? Am I investing in myself? Am I constantly, constantly Every chance I get, not when you have money, every chance I get, not when you feel like it, every chance I get, every opportunity, every chance I get, am I reading the book in between appointments? Am I reading the book when I'm waiting for someone? Am I reading the book during lunchtime? You know, what am I doing? Am I investing in myself constantly? Irregardless of money, irregardless of time, irregardless of anything else, am I investing in myself? And if we're not doing it consistently, what does consistently mean? On a minute, if not a minute, on an hourly, if not an hourly, on a daily basis minimum. On a daily basis minimum. There's so much free information, brothers and sisters out here. There's no excuse for us not to know whatever it is that we want to know. It doesn't cost us anything. Every phone has internet on it. There's no reason why we can't spend five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. Hey, green tea, investing in ourselves. Stop using money as an excuse for everything. Money is never the reason why we don't have. The reason why we don't have is our mindset and our motivation. That's why we don't have. Because whatever money you don't have, I can rest and assure you that somebody else has it. And with the right mindset and the right motivation, we can go out and partner with those people that have the money we need and get it. Right? And get it. As Grant Cardone said, who's got my money? Who's got my money? Somebody has the money that you're looking for. We just have to learn how to go in the free enterprise system, deliver a product or service of value to get the money that we want. Are you investing in yourself? Have you in 2015? Consistently, if not minute, every minute, if not every hour, 
than every day. If you have not done it year in, year out, every day, then you have to ask yourself the question, am I playing the money game to win or am I, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is we must, and you have to ask yourself, am I taking massive action? Am I taking massive action? Am I taking massive? Did I do this in 2015? Did I take massive action in 2015? Okay, these are questions that you have to ask yourself to, to make an assessment of where you are. You have to know where you are in order to know what you need to do to make progress. You have to know where you are. You have to know, you know, what you're standing on, what your current foundation is. I'm on quicksand, right? So you have to function differently to get out of quicksand, to get the leverage you need, the traction you need to get out of quicksand, right? If I'm in a, on, a, on a declining plane, Right? Am I on a, a upscale plane? So you have to make an assessment. We have to make an assessment with these questions to determine that I've been playing. I'm just playing or I'm playing to win. Right? You have to ask that question for yourself as 2015 winds down. So am I taking massive action? The third and final one, am I taking massive action? Massive action should coincide timely with an investment in myself. You invest in yourself daily, take massive action daily, minute, hourly, no less than daily. Massive action, massive action. Massive means big, large, right? Uh, compared to other actions. If your if your activity Right. Your output is like this, no matter if it's at work, with your children, with your family, with your friends, with your wife, with your husband. If, 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 if your actions like this, that's not massive. Massive means this. Massive means that. Massive means this. Or you get a, if I mean, nobody can maintain it at that level all the time. All right. You can increase your standard level of action. But massive. Boom. Massive. Boom. Right. Massive boom. And definitely massive compared to the other activity that's out there. Massive in relationship to the time frame that you have to achieve an object. And even if you have a lot of time, you still want to move with massive action because we never know what's going to happen. That's going to slow us down. If you're going just five miles an hour and you hit a bump. And it slows you down. Now you're to two and three miles an hour. But if you were at 50 miles an hour, hit the bump, it might take it a 45 miles an hour. So massive action. Am I taking massive action? We should learn how to take massive action. We should train our minds, condition our minds to, to take massive action. Take, that's why working out and exercising in the morning is so powerful because you're waking your body up and, you, and you're giving your body massive action compared to the previous action that it was experiencing called sleep. But if we get up, shower, get ready, and move on the same level, and we do that day after day after day after day after day, year after year after year after year after year, our physical action, our physical movement, then it makes it very, very hard for us to, to peak, to do, to take massive action. So that's the third one, massive action. But those are the three things. Once again, we have to ask ourselves. These are questions that you have to ask yourself today, but definitely between now and Friday and sit down and really contemplate. What helps me a lot is to write down. That's why I write down these notes. Okay? I do a lot of writing. I got a clipboard here full of notes. Right? Just write down. I'm always writing down stuff. Look at that. Always writing down stuff. Because that, that helps put an imprint on your brain, on your subconscious mind. So write it down. Right? What's the first one? Controlling my environment. Who is in my personal space? What does my personal space look like? My home, my car, my body. 
What does it look like? Number two, in, invest in myself. Invest in myself. Constantly invest in myself. No questions asked. Read, do, become. Learn, do, become. Learn, do, become. And then lastly, massive action. We have to learn how to take massive action. In this society here in America, we've been taught how to play it safe, right? Playing safe is risky. <laughs> Playing safe is risky, right? The surest way to get eliminated is trying to play it safe, okay? To play it safe. So take massive action. We just have to learn that. Even if it's just sprinting down the hallway in your house, even if it's just jumping, you know, trying to, as they say, touch the sky, we have to learn how to exert massive action and we might start with just you know reaching for the jumping for the sky five times and we all pooped out but you build on it you build on it build on it brothers and sisters those are the things those are the questions just some of them and you can add to that it starts to process see we have to understand we have to start the process and as we start the process other things that we need will be attracted to us all right, so go ahead and use that. Let me know how it works for you. Go to DarylMuhammad.net and leave me some comments. Make sure you subscribe. Leave me some comments and let me know how the money game scopes have helped you. How the money game scopes have helped you. So uh, we're right on time. So if you have any questions, put it there in Meerkat Stream and, or put it there in Periscope, okay? All right, go ahead and do that right now. If you have any questions about what we covered today or any time in the past, then go ahead and ask that question. If not, then brothers and sisters, here's what you need to do. If you like what you've heard, you want to hear more, you want to connect with me, right? And you want to do something empowering for yourself, your family, but most importantly, our black community, then go to DarylMuhammad.net. DarylMuhammad.net. Subscribe. Click around, look around. I got a lot of good stuff up there. I got a concert that I filmed with uh, some friends of mine, Tony, Tony, Tony. That's about 90 minutes long, so go there and check that out, okay? Go there and check that out, and there's some other things that I've done and some other Periscope uh, uh, streams as well, okay? So go to DarylMuhammad.net. Go ahead and subscribe because we're going to start in 2016. We're going to have private webinars, private teleconferences. We're going to have guests and stuff all around money and financial empowerment for ourselves and our black community, all right? Because our community, brothers and sisters, I mean, just you, I mean, just open your eyes and recognize that our community needs some people, need a group of people that are unequivocally clear that financial empowerment in our community is part of the problem and they want to be part of the solution all right part of the solution i'm not about me getting rich because i wouldn't be on here it was about me getting rich me blowing up right me balling people that's only concerned about themselves they don't share they don't share with others they don't look for others right to share with it's all about them okay so go to darylmuhammad.net and go ahead and subscribe, and you'll be uh, kept abreast of all the new developments uh, in 2016. Okay? All right, brothers and sisters, with that being said, that's it for Tuesday's broadcast. We'll be here tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We won't be here Thursday. We'll be back January 1st, 2016. All right? So without uh, anything else, all right, as I always say, I'll see you at the top. Not from the top, because you, your family, but most importantly, our black community needs your help. All right, brothers and sisters, see you tomorrow. God willing. Take care. God bless. All right, Meerkat, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, uh, Living Chic and Chorizo. Thank you for, for live stream, I mean, for restreaming and liking the broadcast. Um, Go to DarylMuhammad.net if you like what you've heard and you're ready to take action, right? Take action and do something to improve ourselves and our community. Then uh, meet me over there. Meet me over there at DarylMuhammad.net. All right? And we'll see you tomorrow.